screwdriver, 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 where are the screwdriver? Oh, my label maker. I've been looking for that. Oh. Perfect. I'm going to label everything. What are you going to label yourself? I don't know. No. It's not right. Hmm. I've got it. Hey, welcome to Demolition Ranch. A few months ago, back in December, we actually went up to Montana and I shot a Sword International Mjolnir and I was like, I want one for myself. So I got one for myself. It's chambered in 338 Lapua. But I'll oh, look at that later. Come out here. Let me show you what we got over here. Like 100 months ago or more, uh, there was a company called Pinnacle Armor and they came out with um, a armor system called Dragon Skin. It was actually in like the early 2000s. Um, they came out with Dragon Skin and it was all the rage. Well, no one actually knew. They just seemed really cool. It was on TV, it's on future weapons, and it was cool. And we actually got a set and tested it, which is really hard because the company went out of business in the early 2000s too. And so they weren't making any more. You couldn't find anywhere. The military wasn't supposed to sell it. We found a set though and shot it, and it actually did pretty good. Problem is it was really bulky, but it did stop a lot. So we actually have a brand new one. Another company has started making dragon skin that is brand new. This is from Stealth Armor Systems. This has dragon skin in it inside this vest. We have a panel out over here I'll show you. But this is rated at level 4 plus. So NIJ ratings go up to level 4 which will stop a 30-06 black tip. And so this one is rated at level 4 plus which means it can stop more than that. And we're going to test it today and see if it can stop a 338 Lapua Magnum. I'm actually really excited about this. Let me show you what that armor looks like pulled out of this vest and then we'll show you the gun. So we have two panels. One was in the front of that one and this one was in the back. I went ahead and cut this open because I wanted to see what it looks like. But you can see we got Dragon Skin 2022 and it's actually pretty neat. I don't know if it's stuck in here or not. We haven't actually pulled it all the way up. Let's cut it a little more and see what this baby looks like. This is Strike Face and you can see it has the kind of classic looking yellow Kevlar. But then you can see each one of these. So the reason they call it Dragon Skin is because they have these little ceramic discs that line up like scales. And so it makes it a little bit flexible because a normal ceramic plate is not flexible because it's a big hard ceramic plate. So this is flexible but also they overlap each other. So they kind of help each other to stop so it will flex when it hits. And then behind we have these sheets which will catch bullet fragments that make it through, ceramic pieces that make it, you know, that are pushed through. And it's big. It's bulky. It isn't heavy. It's light. But the one downside to Dragon Skin, well, besides being heavy, the other one is pretty heavy. This one seems lighter. The one downside though is it's just bulky. It sticks out a lot more than a single plate. But it is flexible. That's the benefit of Dragon Skin and level four plus. Also, Stealth Armor System makes other uh, armor besides just the Dragon Skin four plus. Now, let's go ahead and talk about this gun. But first, let's go ahead and talk about 338 Lapua Magnum. That is a big boy and shoots very fast and we have a lot of it. Look at that, good stuff. Sent to us by Norma Ammunition. Really appreciate them for supplying all the ammo today. I think they have a decent chance of going through four plus, but I, I don't know. There's only one way to actually know. Okay, onto the gun. 
But first, how are you guys doing today? Everything good? Everything cool. All right, on to the gun. This, like I said, is the Sword International Mjolnir. So Mjolnir is Thor's hammer, which is super powerful. We have the most powerful AR right here. It is a semi-auto AR platform chambered in a 338 Lapua Magnum. I have actually not shot this yet, um, but we did paint it day one. It came all black and we were like, you know what? Let's Cerakote this. But instead, we just painted it with some Walmart spray paint. You know. And then we put a can on the end. So we have a suppressed 338 Lapua AR. We topped it with a little scope here. Just a little guy. Four and a half to 27. So we can really reach out there. Also, so we can take Demolition Ranch scientific testing to the next level, we have a ballistic dummy lab torso in here. We will actually see uh, not only what happens if a bullet makes it through, but just the blunt force trauma. If, say, it does stop at 338 Lapua Magnum, but it still punches hard enough to hurt him, we'll see his lungs bleeding, which would be great. We're starting small, just a little tiny, uh, with a uh, 50 cal Desert Eagle. Let's see if that'll stop it. Shoo! 50 AE, baby. Did you hit him? Yeah, I hit him. Okay. Of course I hit him. Making sure, man. I never miss. Hold on, let me put this in my my holster here. Concealed carry. Bro, what are you carrying? Oh, I'm just happy. Is that a 50 AE or are you just happy to see me? Went in right there. Nothing came through, of course. We didn't expect it to. Uh, I see no damage. Didn't even feel it. It's like a fly landed on him. Next up, green tip, five, five, six. So you know we going deep uh, in the armor. Out of the ACR, let's see what happens. Every time I shoot this gun, I'm like, I need to shoot this thing more. I wanna, I wanna rip like a thousand rounds through this thing. Someday, soon. Yeah, felt good. Hit right there. It's hard to see. 5.56 five, makes a teeny little hole. Uh, but no damage. He's got a little bit of a beer belly thing, but don't we all, you know? Solid 5.56, five, total stop. Barely even felt it. Tis but a flesh wound, but it wasn't even a flesh wound. Now, 7.62 by 39, and this is some steel core ammo. Should be decent at penetrating, but probably not level four. Yeah, the Meridian. Look how good this thing looks. Pew. All right, we actually hit really close to the 5.56, 7.62. That's a problem with ceramics because it'll start degrading. Once you break those little tiles and then you throw another one in there, they can make it through. Oh, it did. That's not a complete fail because we did hit the same spot twice and that's the downside of ceramic, but I kind of still thought it would stop. I wasn't trying to miss anything. In the case that you get shot with a 5.56 and your armor totally stops it and then a 7.62 by 39 comes in and your armor totally lets it through, uh, you should definitely have some safety gear. So these are actually from Refuge Medical. We partnered up with them and made a demo ranch specific kit. This one is just the bare minimum thing that you should have, all the stuff that you should have at a range in case of some, you know, someone getting shot. In case of an emergency, this has everything you need. If you don't go to a range with something like this, you should really consider getting something like this. So this is just the bare minimum kit. This has all of this stuff plus some other things that are helpful for like more minor injuries. Um, and then also has your carrying bag. So this is called the smaller back kit. So you can put it on your belt. You can put it on a backpack. We actually have one on the golf cart right there. So this is this exact same kit. We have it out here every time we come out here to the range. It is right there. We have them in multiple colors. You can get them in black, red, orange, tan, green. We have them all. All this stuff is in here and all the things you would need for major and minor injuries here. Also, both of them have a Cat7 tourniquet. So you're good to go. All that stuff we are selling um, on the Bunker Branding website. Linked in the description below. Thanks to Refuge Medical for helping partner with us make these things available. Get this at least! Please keep yourself safe. Get this if you want everything. The Q Fix chambered in 8.6 blackout. It's a supersonic ammunition. So a lot of energy. This is a big heavy round flying. We're gonna shoot left side. I bet it stopped. Hit here, which is away from everything else, so that should not have hit any compromised panels, ceramics. 
and did not go through. That was the first one. No bruising over here. Probably got a little belly punch, but not bad. Three thirds of the poo now? I think so. Are they ready for that? They're not ready for this, bro. I'm not ready. You're not ready for this. Well, let's do it anyway. Let's do it anyway. Okay. Let's shoot this bad boy. So this thing has a left-sided charging handle over here, non-reciprocating charging handle. Has mag release, both sides, ambi. Has a forward assist, dust cover, and then of course no charging handle in the back since it's up here on the left side. Look at that freaking mag. 10 rounds of fury. Shoo. We are at the one million yard range. Just send one, see what it feels like. Oh yeah, we got a nice trigger here. New mag. Yeah, buddy. I'm gonna hit the other targets down lower. Golly. So you guys have seen our 300 wind mag ARs, which is crazy to have that much power just in an AR platform. And then you come out with a 338 and God. Even more power. Oh, we knocked that one down. We moved the plate we've been shooting at. We were shooting just the, the front plate um, for all those other rounds. We moved it to the back and we put the plate we looked at here, which is a fresh plate right in the front now. We are shooting 330 Lapua out of the sword at a fresh dragon skin plate. Will it stop it? And then we'll go investigate what happened on the other one and what this one did. Fire it! Oh man, that hit hard. We got us a belly hit. I always aim for the belly. Right there. Now, let's just see what we got here. This is from, this was the backside where that 762x39 went out. So this is the backside 338. So this thing did stop at 338 Lapua Magnum. Ugh, dude, right in there. Got stuff all falling out into my hands, but nothing in the back. All right, we're gonna take this over the table and dissect. Oh, look at this one too. So this is where the 762x39 did come through. Uh, it came out right there. But you can see this guy has alien blood, so all the blue is simulating blood inside him. So it did go through, pass all the way through this dude's belly and hit some, not necessarily vital, it, it might have hit vital like arteries in there. Did we get a spine? Oh yeah, he's definitely paralyzed. I think it came right through and broke that vertebrae there. So I would say that was a pretty vital hit. Let's do the one we were shooting first, first. Go ahead and cut her open. Oh, they're like little gray ceramic disc. Weird. So that's what they look like. There are a bunch of those things all layered in here. Here's our 50 AE. That is, yeah, that's a piece of lead stuck on some ceramic. It did break one. So 50 AE came and broke one. Oh, there you, there you go, right there. It hit that. You can see all the ceramic is gone. So these are like wrapped in like, um, Looks like fiberglass. So it has a piece of ceramic wrapped in fiberglass. So that definitely deteriorated a little bit. The 556 five, probably deteriorated it a lot more, which made way for our 762 by 39 to come right through. And there's more of those broken, those broken. There's tons of chunks in there. This one is totally empty. So you can see it's just rock. So when it hits and cracks, it makes it a lot less strong. And then our 8.6 over here probably did similar things. There's our 8.6. Totally mangled. These bullets are real tall, real long. It probably lost half its weight, but it didn't make it through. It stopped. On to the 338 Lapua. I wonder, oh wow, look at that. You can see the chunks there. The ceramic is the big hard layer. That's made to break the bullet apart and take the energy. And then these are all made to catch the bullet. And that's what happened here. So you can see, 
back behind there, all that's coming out the back side of this yellow. And there's a bullet right there. Oh yeah, dude. Look at that. 338 Lapua. That's the back end of the bullet right there. And the front is totally smashed. Dude, it looks like it didn't even go through to the next layer of this stuff. No, there's no hole there. It caught it in the first half. It's pretty good. And I would say that is four plus protection on single hit. Once you start hitting multiple is when ceramics start degrading. You could put a 330 here, 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 here. You could probably get 10 on there. But if you put another one through that spot, it's gonna go straight through. Okay, we know it'll stop at 330 at Lapua. And we also know that multi-hit is not great. So I was like, what about if we do like a multi-multi hit? So we put the uh, the vest up there that's been shot one time and we're gonna shoot it at least one more time. Let's go see if it stopped them all. We also missed like half of those. <laughs> all right, yeah. Hit, 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 hit. And you got some on the barrel too. Yeah. Well, let's see if uh, the ones that did hit hurt our dude or if he is protected. Ooh, yeah. Oh, some of these went low. But I mean, you can see which ones went through and not many. Oh, that one went straight through. So this one missed the actual dragon skin and just went through this, poked him. He's got like a knife wound right here. Yeah, I mean, he took some to the belly button, but that was just regular 762 by 39, wasn't steel core. It stopped most of it, but it, it let a few belly shots through. But that has me wondering, what what about if you do a multi-round hit with uh, no armor on? <laughs> Let's go see if they went through. There are no rules. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Ugh. Yeah, he's... As you guys know, I am a doctor. Oh, there's your problem right there. You're missing quite a bit of your alien torso. I'm gonna be blue for the rest of the day. Hey guys, thanks for watching Demolition Ranch. I love you and I'll see you next time. Okay. Yeah, I'm good. <laughs> it's quite simple. There's only one rule in the demolition. You don't tell Mayor.